because it's going to be pretty windy, but the good news is most of the stormy weather will have moved out of here. It will be a little bit windy, but lots of sunshine this afternoon. But boy, we had a lot of wind overnight. Let's go ahead and take a look at our live sky cam. It's pointed toward uh, Fiesta de la Flor. Still see a lot of those tents that withstood uh, those windy conditions, but we'll have to wait till daylight to see uh, if a couple of those actually got blown away as well. Now, as far as our weather, it's going to be cooler today, but the cool and windy conditions, nothing compared to what they're seeing out west. Take a look at this video from Colorado. They're seeing blizzard like conditions. It's the same storm system, same cold front that brought us all of the wind and storms overnight. Most of the rain was in our northern areas, but uh, this is a huge winter storm that's going to be impacting much of the country today. The snow is going to be falling across parts of the upper Midwest right now. Now we're looking at 61 degrees. You can see some rain coming down out at the airport. The winds are out of the north at about 15 miles per hour. A little breezier over at the Naval Air Station, gusting right around 22 miles per hour. Rockport at 18 miles per hour. Now our peak wind gusts as this front was coming through. 51 miles per hour here in the city. Rockport 56. Check out the Naval Air Station. The peak wind gust there 63 miles per hour. And that's why we saw a lot of down tree limbs as well as some of those uh, garbage dumpsters out in the streets. So just use some caution as you're heading out this morning. Pay attention to the road. 55 was the peak wind gust over in Orange Grove. Now as we move throughout the day, uh, winds are going to continue to be pretty breezy to strong out of the north about 20 to 25 miles per hour. It'll start to taper down tonight. Then we're going to see very calm conditions, just some breezy weather in the afternoon. But Sunday is going to be a spectacular day to be outdoors here in the coastal bend. But because of the wind, dry conditions, we've got a fire weather warning for Jim Wells and Live Oak County, and that's through early this evening. A high fire danger for these areas. And we also have that small crafted advisory in effect through tonight as well. If anybody being out on any of the waterways, uh, you're going to see some very windy conditions and high waves right now. 61 degrees in Rockport, 56 in Beeville, 58 in George West, 59 in Orange Grove. Now these temperatures anywhere between 10 and 20 degrees colder than we saw yesterday at this time. 18 degrees colder in Beeville, 13 in Robstown, about 14 degrees colder colder in Kingsville. Now you can see the showers had been developing just in the past couple of hours here along the uh, coastal bend. We'll kind of zoom on in the heavier showers across parts of San Patricio County just east of Taft over in the Portland area as mentioned out near the airport seeing a little bit of that light rain. So uh, we're going to continue to see a few isolated showers. Big thunderstorm moved right across parts of Goliad now pushing up to the northeast, but you can see the brunt of the rain, most areas didn't get a lot of wet weather. It was the wind that was uh, causing some of the damage out there. The heavier showers up between San Antonio, Houston, and Victoria. And just to our north, northern parts of Bee County, Goliad area, Refurio, uh, these areas saw some of that wet weather. We also had this one little cell moved across uh, uh, parts of Live Oak County, uh, just south of George West, close to an inch of rain, a little more than a half an inch near Mathis. Uh, also just to the west and north of Orange Grove picked up about an inch of rain. So some of these storms did dump a lot of heavy rainfall, but it was very spotty at best. We are at the tail end of that front. Stronger showers and thunderstorms across parts of the lower Mississippi Valley, but we're going to see the cooler air today. Yesterday we were in the lower 90s. Today we're going to be in the upper 70s. And as a high pressure comes in, the winds are going to die down. Sunday looks like it's going to be great. But as far as the threat, threat for some of those showers, still a few isolated showers here in South Texas. But the main big thunderstorms with the tornadic activity likely across parts of the southeastern United States. That's where we are seeing some of those big thunderstorms uh, at this hour. But as far as the future tracker, you can see that pushes that rain out of here by this afternoon. We're going to see lots of sunshine if you're heading out at uh, any of those outdoor events. Then Sunday also is going to be crystal clear.
Now here is that front producing some pretty good thunderstorms across parts of the Tennessee Valley. Some reports of severe weather here. You get up here where it's colder. That's where we're seeing all of the snow across the upper Midwest and down into the central plains. Another storm system will be traversing the country and that could be impacting us a little later in the week. But as far as the temperatures, take a look at this. We're in the 60s and the 70s here. Here's that cold air with the temperatures in the 30s. Amarillo is at 34, 33 in Wichita, 21 in Casper. So, so this is that uh, pretty much springtime setup where we get a lot of that severe weather. Here's a look at our forecast for today. We are looking for the clouds to clear out. It's going to be sunny, windy, a high 77 degrees. Winds out of the north 15 to 25 miles per hour tonight. It's going to be chilly for this time of year. We're going to drop down into the upper 50s to low or upper 40s to lower 50s with mostly clear skies. The winds dying down Sunday. Fantastic. Lots of sunshine. The same for your Monday. Again, it's going to be windy for the Fiesta de la Flor. We're going to see mostly sunny skies for the middle part of the work week. Then maybe a chance of rain as we get into next Thursday and Friday. We'll have to kind of watch those days and adjust the forecast for it. We're going to have a lot more news coming up. Stay with us.